Jews, if those Jews whose, whose book was not complete, it was not perfect, and the book whose protection and whose security Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not taken the not taken the responsibility of protecting and keeping it secure and the book was not protected and not secured even holding tight and connecting to it would make them pious and righteous then if we if we the followers of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the students of quran if we hold tight and connect to quran we remember its teachings and messages and we mention the messages and orders of Quran, then how surely would we become God-fearing? Would we become righteous and pious? Prophet said, Inni taraktu fikum shayen. Look, there is absolutely no doubt I am leaving behind myself two things. Kitabullah wa sunnati. The book of Allah and my sunnah and the mannerisms of Prophet wasallam. If you hold tight to them, you will never go astray. And then, in another words of Prophet wasallam, he said, Abshiru, good news, Abshiru. One hand of Quran and the book of Allah is in your hand and the other hand and the other end is in the hands of Allah. If you hold tight to it, you will never lose the path. Which path? The path we've been asking for. The path to Jannah. So revise. How do we need to connect to the Quran? Biquvvatin. With strength, with power, and with full concentration. Exactly, exactly the way we hold our precious and valuable and expensive commodities. Like I give you an example. If you are holding one of your French crystal bowls, or one of your Queen Anne dishes how would you hold it just with one hand letting it hang freely dangling around no you would hold it with both your hands strongly carefully with a dense concentration not looking here and there not being diverted focusing and walking slowly and carefully so that is we that is exactly how we need to connect with the best book of Allah, the most expensive, the most precious, the most valuable thing we have, we possess is Quran. So how do we need to connect to it? We need to make a strong bond. We need to be careful. We need to be focused. We need to concentrate while reading. And we do not need to look here and there, here, here and there. We need to hold the Quran with both our hands. This is the rope of Allah. And we don't have to hold the Quran with one hand. And with the second hand, we let the second hand free to accept the worldly orders, the customs of the family and the clans, the norms of the society, the rules and the regulations of the state which are contradictory to the Quran. Just holding to the Quran and Sunnah with one hand and the rest of the hand we are taking the other things. No, we need to hold to Quran and connect with Quran with both our hands. With full strength, full concentration, full focus, with, with full, full, full willpower. Not diverting here and there and just concentrating on the teachings of Quran. And secondly, after holding firmly to the Quran in this manner, we need to do what? We need to wathquru ma fihi. We need to remember. We need to remember the messages and teachings of Quran. And secondly, we need to keep on mentioning, discussing and repeating and talking about the words of Quran because this is what? Zalik al kitabu la rayba fi hudallil muttaqeen. This is the best book and there is absolutely no doubt that it is 
a book of guidance for all whom? For the people who are God-fearing. And third thing is to acquire piety and to acquire the fear of Allah and to become pious. What do we need to do? We need to connect with Quran and we need to mention the Quran and we need to remember the Quran. Now repeat the two supplications to acquire piety and to be pious. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha. Repeat again. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha. And then there is another supplication of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-huda wal-tuqa wal-afafa wal-ghina. I repeat again and repeat with me. Say the words again. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-huda wal-tuqa wal-afafa wal-ghina. Ameen ya Rabbul Alameen.